Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's afternoon Bible study and devotional. Today, we'll be jumping into Psalm chapter 81. Psalm 81 uh, is to be accompanied by string instruments. So I'm trying something new and I have, um, I just Googled peaceful string instruments and we'll see um, if that adds to the reading of the Psalm today. Um, and uh, yeah, but before we get into that, uh, we have been continuing to journey through uh, the book of Psalms as we read through the entire Bible, one or two chapters at a time. Um, so last time we were reading, we double dipped with 79 uh, and 80. Uh, and I would just want to take a second to um, kind of refresh, uh, you know, what we were reading in 80. Uh, and there was this uh, repeating of a phrase that I really, really liked. Um, Make your face shine down upon us. Only then will we be saved. Make your shine face shine down upon us. And only then will we be saved. And that just reminded me of Jesus. Because Jesus ended up being among us. And his face was shown among us. And that is what led us to um, being saved. And I just... That was just one of those cool things. I've been thinking about that a lot since we read it. Um, yeah. Uh, I just thought that was really, really cool. But a lot of the Psalms have been about, um, you know, in the midst of struggle, staying faithful. Um, and that has been an ongoing theme, uh, especially with a lot of what's been going on in the world today. Um, so... Yeah, that's just kind of that the the few thoughts and everything from last chapter. But this chapter, it's Psalm 81. Hopefully you have opened up the BibleGateway.com, the Bible app, or your physical Bible to 81. I'm reading out of the New Living Translation, or the NLT. And uh, if you don't have a physical Bible, I'd love to hook you up with one. Or if you want to give one away and you don't know where to get one, uh, send me a private message and I'd love to try to hook you up with that. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, I'm going to take a sip of coffee, then we're going to jump into Psalm 81. All right. So, uh, this is for the choir director, a psalm of Asaph, to be sung and accompanied by string instruments. Or to be accompanied by string instruments. All right. First one. Sing praises to God, our strength. Sing to the God of Jacob. Sing, beat the trombone. Uh, sorry. Sing, beat the tambourine. I was like, I read, said that wrong. Beat the tambourine. Play the sweet lyre and the harp. Blow the ram's horn at new moon. And again, at full moon, to call a festival for this is required by the decrees of Israel. It is a regulation of the God of Jacob. He made it law for Israel when he attacked Egypt to set us free. I had heard an unknown voice say, Now I will take the load from your shoulders. I will free your hands from their heavy task. You carried me into trouble and I saved you. I answered you out of the thundercloud and tested your faith when there was no water at Mirbath. Interlude. Listen to me, O oh my people. Well, I give you stern warnings, O oh Israel. If you would only listen to me, you must never have a foreign god. You must not bow before false gods. For it is I, the Lord your God, who rescued you from the land of Egypt, opened your mouth, open your mouth wide, and I will fill it with good things. But no, my people wouldn't listen. Israel did not want me around. So I let them follow their own stubborn desires, living according to their own ideas. Oh, 
that may, oh, sorry, oh, that my people would listen to me. Oh, that Israel would follow me, walking in my paths. How quickly I would then subdue their enemies. How soon my hands would fall upon their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him. They would be doomed forever, but I would feed you with the finest wheat. I would satisfy you with the wild honey from the rock. May God add a blessing to the reading of Psalm 81. So, um, yeah. It's, uh, interesting. So it's like almost this joyful song um, being sung about stuff, but then that joyful song kind of turns into correction from God. And this, but once again, this is written, you know, from Ashaph. This is his song. Um, but what's striking me is they seem to still be uh, impressed and in exile while this is happening. And, you know, as, you know, they're seeing this joy, there's that reminder that we can celebrate God in times of trouble in our life. We can celebrate God. We should celebrate God in times of trouble. And then in this song, too, there's that reminder that, you know, we are still not walking in his path. Yes, there were stern warnings, but we are not listening. We're still trying to follow our own path, do what we think is right, instead of leaning on God for our understanding on what is right. And we have a tendency to do that a lot. I know I have a tendency to do that a lot. So, um, yeah, this just makes me want to lead into prayer. So, AJC, awesome Jesus Christ. When we stop following your ways and stop fo and start following our own way, when we start following the way of man instead of your way, Lord, give us reminders and help give us ears to hear those corrections. Help us to walk on your paths and not on the paths of man. Lord, help us to act justly, help us to love mercy, and help us to walk humbly with you, Lord. I thank you that we could read this together. Uh, may you use this in your word. May we learn to celebrate you in times of trouble. Not only like Ashaf here or however you say his name, but I'm also reminded of the time that the uh, disciples got jailed and the doors got opened up and instead of leaving and fleeing, they sung. They sung your praises in the midst of this dungeon and someone was going to take their life, but their faith, their joy in the midst of trouble helped save a life physically and spiritually and not just a life but the his whole family's life lord so help us to to sing praises to you even in the midst of our trouble in your name lord amen all right well thank you guys very much have a fantastic rest of your day and uh yeah god bless